We're here with the Knights, Lachlan Fitzgibbon. Lachlan, congratulations on being nominated in the NYC Academic Team of the Year. Yeah, thank you for having me. Um, it's a real honour to be um, inducted into the team this year. And yeah, no, thank you. Um, tell us, is it nice to be recognised for the hard work you've been doing? You're now in your third year of um, your construction degree. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, it's obviously nice to be recognised in the field and what you're doing, not only uni but through footy as well. So yeah, no, it's good. Tell us a bit about the course you're doing. It's construction management. So yeah, so what it is, it's um, project management within the construction industry. So you know, it's it's a range of it's a range field from a bit of architecture to a bit of business, all into one to be a project manager in the long run, I guess. So yeah, no, it's good. Where did that interest come about? Originally, I wanted to do a. Um, an apprenticeship in carpentry but and a few things didn't go to plan and then footy came in and I still want to be involved in the industry and, and I had the mark to go to university from school so I decided to go through that way so yeah it's good and I'm enjoying it. I'm sure it must be a challenging um, subject to be studying as well? Yeah it can be challenging you know there's there's different um, subjects that are challenging compared to others but um, yeah I'm getting through it so it's not too bad. Tell us a bit about some of the support you receive um, throughout your studies. You're now in your second year uh, of NYC, yeah. um, third year of doing this course. So tell us a bit about how you've managed it all. Yeah, management, um, it comes down to the person really and, and what they use, what resources they can use. But not only the NRL, but also the Knights have been really good in the um, resourcement department. You know, they give you um, tutors they can give you as well as, you know, help outside. You know, feels a good welfare officer and really helps me out when, I'm, when I need to. You do a lot of training, but how do you fit in your studies? How, how demanding is it? It can be demand training between you know, three to five days a week, playing, um, playing on the weekends and then studying. You know, I'm at uni, I think, this semester, three days a week, full time. So you know, it can be demanding, but you know, they're flexible, so I'm enjoying it. Do you get much downtime in between that studying and the training and the classes? Uh, yes and no. There's some days where I do. We, I might have, depending on what day we play, I might have the whole day off. Others not so much, so yeah, I, I get it enough. Well, um, how have you found the um, you know the move into um, Holden Cup, and and obviously you would have been through the rookie camps. Um, yeah. Has that helped you, giving you some direction for both um, your career in football and outside? Yeah, the rookie camp was really good, actually. You know, they they brought us in, they told us you know how we can also manage study as well as play footy all into one sort of thing, and um, you know it's good. Those sort of um, weekends, I guess really help people out, not only deciding what they want to do, but what they can do as well, so, yeah. I guess you're setting an example for those younger guys coming through as well, that it, um, your education's just as important as your footy career? Yeah, no, definitely. You've got to have something after footy, and I guess whether it's through TAFE or an apprenticeship or through university, it's, it's always good to have. You can't play footy forever, and, um, yeah, if, I don't know about setting an example, but I'm glad to be doing what I'm doing. And you're having success um, on the footy field at the moment, first top of the ladder? Yeah, we are. We're, the boys are going really well. Um, we're on top with three games to go. We've uh, got one hand on the minor premiership, which is good, but um, got a couple of hard games coming up, so we'll just see how we go from there.